Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I have such a fun and exciting Love Notions Feature Friday pattern for you today because it is a new pattern, well not a new pattern, it's a pattern re-release and I think it's one that a lot of people have been waiting for. It is the Tessa Sheath Dress. So not only does it now come in the full size range, so an extra small to a 5XL, it also now has the full bust front option. So um, she completely retested the pattern from the get-go because it went from her old software onto her new software. Now the shape of the dress has not changed. She just moved it to different software. And because she was grading out, you know, with the full bust fronts and then out to the sizes, she did a full retest of the pattern to make sure everything was spot on. And she did make some tweaks. There were three different versions of the test pattern, and I've made one of each. And all of them are good. I mean, even the first one is an excellent, um, I actually had it on, on at church on Sunday. Um, but yes, it is near perfect now. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about the pattern just a little bit. So the Tessa sheath dress is a sheath dress, obviously. It is meant for knit fabrics. However, there are options for a contrasting yoke, and I'll show you I've made one here in, in just a second. And for that contrast, you can use a woven fabric or a knit fabric. But the rest of the body of the dress and the sleeves and stuff all do need to be um, knit fabrics. Uh, the recommended fabrics are um, your ponties, your double brush polys, um, things that have a little bit more structure, double knits, um, cotton jerseys, cotton spandex is one of them. Um, so yeah, things that just kind of hold their shape a little bit more. If you were to make this in something that was a little more, and, and actually you'll see it here a little bit, but if you make it in something like a rayon jersey, it's just going to be too drapey and you're going to look like you're wearing a sack. So there's beautiful um, shaping in this dress and you want to be able to see that where it goes in at your waist and then skims over the hips. Um, let's see what else. There are two neck, neck options. There is a boat neck uh, option. And now that I'm thinking about it, I think the only the boat, net op boat neck boat neck option <laughs> can use the contrasting yoke because the scoop comes down too far. Um, so just keep that in mind. Um, and then a scoop neck version. Uh, you can finish it off with bias binding if you're using woven. You can finish it off with a knit binding if you're using knit for the, you know, around the collar area, whether that be a contrasting yoke or just the body of the dress. And she's also added facing pieces. Um, you guys know that I really enjoy on my knit garments to use a facing, but only because I top stitch it down all the way around the perimeter of the facing. Um, so when things are wide enough to get over my head without having to stretch, which both this boat net, boat neck, why am I having a hard time saying that word? Boat neck option and the scoop neck option can both get on over my head without having to stretch. So I can do it a facing with a little bit of interfacing on the back and finish that off. Um, and it's just, I think it looks really professional. Otherwise I hate facings. If they're just in there flapping around, I hate them. I would rather much rather have just a binding um, on the neck. And I've used the binding on two of these and then the facing on the third. Um, there's a center back seam for some beautiful back shaping. So if you need a um, sway back adjustment, and honestly, as I was, she's adjusted this pattern a few times. Um, it looks like I need a sway back adjustment in the first dress, but then she did shorten the back length um, a little bit. So it's much better in the second version but I am seeing a little bit of pulling, but I'm also wondering if that's just has more to do with my undergarments than anything because I had on, have on cotton underwear on underneath this cotton jersey dress and I think it was catching. Um, so I think if I wore just my regular like um, no-show type underwear um, that is a slicker material that it would glide over my butt no problems and we'd be good to go. Um, let's see what else we've got sleeve options. There's a long sleeved, a three quarter sleeve, an elbow, like a sleeve that hits the elbow and a short sleeve. Um, oh, and you can do it in two lengths. It could be above the knee or shin length. So like a midi length. Um, so yeah, so I've done quite a few of the options. The only thing I didn't change up was the sleeve. I've done these all three quarter length sleeve. It's my favorite sleeve. Now I could definitely mess around and I actually contemplated doing this one in a short sleeve and I'll talk about that um, here in just a minute. But let's dig into the ones that I have made. So as a reminder, this is today's Feature Friday pattern which means it's $5 today only. And today is the 10th of December, 2021. 
um, and then it will be on sale the rest of the weekend, um, but only it'll only be $5 today only. But I have a coupon code now that gives you an extra 10% off. So if you use the code TOMCAT right here, and this is good for any Love Notions patterns, you can get an additional 10% off, and that includes the sale prices. But yes, five days, dollars today only. If you missed that, it is on sale the rest of the weekend, so uh, you definitely want to have go have a look. And if you've already pur purchased this pattern um, in the old format, just go to your downloads, and the new pattern is already in there for you, so um, you don't have to repurchase anything, which is lovely. Okay, let's dig in. So for my first one, I'm only going to put this one on Lena. Um, just, it's the same dress. I'm just going to show you, and then I can easily show you some of the details. All right, so for my first one, I actually did the uh, contrasting yoke here. This is the boat neckline, and it's got the binding, the bias, no, it's not bias because it's knit. If I had done woven, it would be cut on the bias. But I did just the knit binding and finished that off with my cover stitch. I think that looks just really nice and neat there. I had some scraps. This is that faux suede, um, stretch suede that I used for my cozy jacket with my Style Maker Fabrics um, jacket that I made. Oh my gosh, it feels so lovely. And I love it with this Ponte. So you guys have seen this Ponte. I bought this at Minerva a while ago um, for my fall sewing. And after some hemming and hawing I thought it would be a great dress and it is I, like I said I had this one on on Sunday um, okay so I've made the medium with the full bust for this first version I shortened it three inches now I usually run a line kind of with it's just or um, love notions patterns and sometimes I need to shorten things two inches sometimes three inches when I'm doing midi just to really get that sweet spot in my calf so this one I shortened to three inches so I shortened it an inch above the waist because I have a very high waist and a lot of times my boobs will eat up that extra length and so I don't have to shorten things above the waist but when there's full, uh, cup sizes or like a full bust front that length has been added back in there for my chest so I will go ahead and shorten it above the waist um, and then the smallest part of the pattern is hitting the smallest part of my body which also helps in a few different areas so it's been shortened an inch above the waist um, I have a short torso and a very high waist and then I shortened this one two inches um, at the hip so like right a, you know below the hip um, and it just was a little shorter than I wanted it which is why I added an inch back in and we'll talk about that in a second um, three quarter length sleeves. This is a Ponte. Um, it's got a lot of polyester in it. It's not my favorite thing against my skin, but I do think it looks cute and I love my contrasting yoke that's on there. So yes, very good, very comfortable. You will see, or maybe you'll see in the video, um, that it, it was catching on my butt. There's just too much length in the back, which usually indicates you need a sway back adjustment where you take up some of that length. Again, she fixed the pattern and so I did not do that on the second one. Okay. So she fixed the pattern, shortened the back length a little bit from the top to the um, waist of the back, and this is version two. So this one, I did the same thing, except I did not use a contrasting yoke. I used this, oh my god, I love this. This is um, a rayon nylon ponte from uh, Style Maker Fabrics. I have it in this color, and I have it in kind of a teal green. It's a really nice quality ponte, and I love this dress. This is the same fabric I made my bow bow boa skirt out of. Um, I did a video on how to add, like, um, power mesh in the lining of a knit skirt. But uh, this was the remainder of that fabric. Love it so much. I mean, this is going to be such a great, this is my little black dress. I don't wear black, um, but I do love a good navy. This is going to be my little black, black dress that can be dressed up, dressed down, everything in between. Um, made the same size, the medium with the full bust front. Um, this one's also short, shortened an inch above the waist, but I only shortened it one inch at the hip. So this has uh, only been shortened to two inches total. And I just love how easy it is to dress it up or down. It's such a fantastic, um, God, it's such a fantastic pattern. I love a sheath dress on my body style, mostly because I have such a short waist and I'm rectangular. I'm a rectangular body shape. So when I can omit waist seams, a lot of times that can give me a little bit more length. Um, I just find it very flattering on my body. Um, also, this is the shin length. So this is the midi length that I used. Um, and that's all there is about to say. I mean, I did the same, the knit binding there at the neckline. This is the boat neck version as well. Like I said, there is a center back seam. 
that just gives you some beautiful shaping in the back. So between this version and this last version, she just added in, she took in the waist just a little bit more on the sides to give just a little bit more shaping. Um, a few ladies were just finding that they, it was just kind of shapeless in the waist and they wanted just a little bit more. Now I basically, I mean, I'm very straight through my waist and hips. Um, so a lot of times I want that extra room at the waist, but I am doing the full bust front, which gives me an extra two inches across the front. Um, for the bust and also incidentally for the waist and hips. So having that little bit of shaping I think worked really, really well. So this was version two. So that brought me um, to version three, which has the added shaping. And I don't know if that's what makes it this my favorite. It might be, um, I've already gotten something on the fabric. Good gracious, I'm a mess. It may be the fabric on this one. I love this stripe. So on this dress, I did the um, uh, scoop neck. Oh gosh, sorry. I'm totally being indecent with Lena here. Um, I did the scoop neck on this one and I did do the facing and I don't think you're going to be able to see it, but it's top stitched all the way around the dress. Um, three quarter length sleeves. This one I also only shortened two inches. So it's shortened an inch above the waist and an inch at the hip, just like the blue one. Um, but for this version, I decided to do the above the knee length. So again, it comes in two lengths. It comes like a midi length and also above the knee. Um, I love this. I think that this pattern would be a fantastic t-shirt dress going forward. Um, you know, playing around either with the scoop or with the boat neck. You could do a shorter sleeve in the summer. I think that this would be perfect. This fabric is a cotton spandex jersey. So this is even the fabric I would make a t-shirt dress out of. Um, I just find it so flattering. I was going to, I got this fabric from Destashify. You guys saw this in my Destashify haul, but um, I was gonna make just like a Breton style top, so like a boat neck top. And I was getting ready to do the third version of this pattern and I saw this fabric sitting over there and I'm like, instead of a Breton style top, I should do a Breton style dress. And then I'm like, you know what? I've already made two boat neck um, necklines of this pattern. Let's try the scoop neck. So it just all went off the rails. But I love this so much. Um, it also looks really great with my uh, Sinclair Patterns Harper cardigan, my red one. Uh, and I'll be showing you um, I don't know. Actually, I don't know if this dress will make an appearance in my fall. It probably won't in my fall sewing plans, but you will see the cardigan. Um, it just is great for layering. Now I'm showing it bare legged, but this could also very easily be paired with some brown tights or black or gray, whatever. Um, kind of depending on what vibe I'm going for, but, um, and then it could be worn with tennis shoes. It could be worn with booties. It could be worn with a heel, clogs, it's kind of endless. Um, regular, like my uh, knee-high boots, it could, yeah, it can kind of go with everything. So I'm loving how versatile this is. I think the stripe and the colorful stripe makes it a little, I mean, it's obviously a little less um, dressed up than like the blue version, but I think I could still pull this off for a little nicer for church versus just like going to the grocery store with a, on with a pair of tennis shoes. And honestly, I wear the three-quarter length in the summer, so I could, I mean, I could really see this dress going pretty much almost all year round for me. So I'm very excited to add this one to my um, wardrobe. Um, yeah, I got a good match. Let's show you the good match on the side seams. Look at that. Very pleased with my stripes, um, which do get, as a side note, when you're doing stripes and you have anything with a, um, a dart or full bust, um, which this does, it's never gonna match after that dart or after that full bust. So see my stripes are matching all the way up to the point of when I have to start stretching things to make them fit and then everything gets out of whack. That's just the way it has to be because these are printed on stripes. So as I am stretching to get things to fit for the full bust, that's just what happens. But it's also under your arm, like right up under your arm. So there's nothing to, don't stress about that, that those aren't uh, matching. But yeah, when you get the sleeve matching going on, you know, across the, seam and everything like that. It's a, uh, that's good. That's all you kind of need to do. So, and this one, actually, yeah, it's a good one to try your seam matching across all the way. Anyway. <laughs> okay, guys, those are my, now that I've like totally wrestled Lena the mannequin here, um, 
every which way. Those are my three Tessas. Guys, I have been so excited about this pattern being re-released, and again, I've had quite a few people comment, oh, I hope it's either the Tessa or the Terra Tunic. I'm very excited about the Terra Tunic as well. Um, I have no idea when that's gonna be done, but she has said that she is on track to have all of her patterns in the on, in the new software, in the full size range by the end of next year. So the Terra will be on its way, I am sure, here sometime soon, um, definitely sometime within the next year. Okay. That's all I have for today. All right, Sunday we'll have another week two's vlog. And um, next week is gonna be all about wardrobes. It's gonna be showing you my fall wardrobe, kind of how that all ended up with everything I made. And then next Friday, we're gonna be talking about plans for my winter wardrobe. The Everyday Style um, Winter Capsule was released and um, it's so good. In fact, I'm the only thing I'm changing with her color palette this time is that instead of black and cream for the main neutrals, I've gone navy and cream. Um, but other than that, I'm pretty much using the rest of the colors that she's put in there. Um, I've asked for a couple of things for Christmas. Um, for my winter wardrobe and I'm gonna be knitting a sweater so um, I'm working on a sweater right now for my daughter so I need to get it off my needles so I can get that one on my needles um, but yeah that's kind of what we've got going forward what else I'm currently sewing for my kids at the moment in fact you can't see but behind Lena is a big pile of pieces for one of my son's jackets um, so hopefully I'll have some stuff to show you guys for that um, as we come here to the end of the year all right, guys, all I have for today, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Grab this pattern today. It's a good one, and for $5 and an extra 10% off if you use my code. Um, yeah, you can, I mean, you can make a million of these and wear them for all occasions. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, also, get on, check Love Notions, all the testers. There are some fabulous ones that have been made by the testers. Some really cool, um, you know, mixing other patterns, you know, throwing the Arlington sleeves on, all sorts of really cool things that people have been doing. So definitely go head over um, so you can see what all the testers have been making. All right, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend, that you get some sewing in, and I will see you all on Sunday and again on Tuesday. Bye.